Nearly two dozen agents from the Baltimore office of the FBI and from the criminal division of the IRS took away boxes of potential evidence. They focused on the second floor city hall offices of Mayor Catherine Pugh, executing a search warrant approved several days ago by a federal judge. What you can imagine would be in a office uh, were the kinds of things that were seized. Have you talked I, to the mayor? I have not spoken to the mayor. Andre Davis is the city solicitor, unaware, he said, City Hall would be targeted. I had no notice whatsoever. We found out about it. I suspect some of you found out about it before we did this morning. Agents also took evidence from the Northwest Baltimore house where Mayor Pugh lives, included boxes labeled Healthy Holly Books. This was the house Pugh bought in December 2016, apparently for cash. The purchase came after Pugh received nearly $250,000 through her Healthy Holly LLC in the months before. Agents seized evidence at another house owned by Pugh that she uses for her business address. They also targeted Gary Brown Jr., an aide to Pew. Brown was prosecuted by the state two years ago for making illegal campaign contribution to Pew's mayoral campaign. He was fired by acting mayor Jack Young earlier this week. And a search warrant was executed at a small nonprofit in northwest Baltimore with ties to Pew, known as MCAT. It received some city money. Sources say the investigation that led to the execution of the search warrants today has been going on for some time before the publicity about the mayor's book deals that started in mid-March. At Pew's house late this afternoon, her attorney, Stephen Silverman, said he too had received a federal subpoena for Healthy Holly Records. He was asked if he would advise Pew to resign. All I do is give options. The offices of Pew's former campaign manager, Keith Timmons, were also searched today. And a spokesman said the University of Maryland medical system received a federal subpoena for records related to Mayor Pew today. If you'll recall, as we have been reporting, Pew received, the system paid Pew through her LLC, $500,000 for books between 2011 and 2018.